jumped on. Jeff is my corporate mentor. I believe he, if I might be saying this correctly, he mentors six to 14 star diamonds in the Southeast or the East. Um, he might be able to like explain <laughs> that a little more, um, but it's really, um, really incredible time when I get one-on-one -on -one because, you know, I, I one-on-one -on -one coaches a lot and it's really nice to have somebody pouring in to not only me, but back into you guys because when he fills my bucket up and he fills me with knowledge and encouragement and strategies, I in turn have the energy and excitement to give it right back to you guys. Um, he's super excited about our team. We got to talk last Friday and we're going to talk again on this Friday. And just really trying to create some awesome strategies moving forward for the rest of 2020 and with dealing kind of dealing with what we've got going on in the world today as well and making sure that we are at the forefront of it and not um not letting not letting the environment control us um i think that I, somebody had written a quote i don't remember which coach it was but she was talking about a ship and how a ship sinks when the water is inside of it but the chaos is on the outside if you keep the chaos out here and not inside your team or inside your soul and your heart, then you can stay afloat and continue to sail forward. So kind of what our mindset has been with this team and showing up on morning workouts and being on team calls. So thank you guys for being on tonight. Thank you, Jeff, for taking time away from your family. And um, I will mute my line, give you the floor. And if you guys have any questions for Jeff, please feel free to um, post them in the chat and we can ask them at the end of the call. You're muted. <laughs> Guys, I swear I've done Zoom calls before. I've been working at Beachbody for six and a half years and been working from home now for three and a half weeks, and I still can't figure out how to unmute myself. That's just that's just part of the game here. So how are you all tonight? How are we doing? We got, who do we have on here? Jessica's, Jessica's the first person I just saw, and she had a big smile on her face. So Jessica Morris, thank you for putting a smile on my face. We got Elena. Hopefully I just pronounced your name right. I almost said wrong. <laughs> You're like, it's Elena, Elena. Angela Black, Brittany, Yolanda, Christina, Michelle, Lauren, and it's like the Brady Bunch, my little windows here, this is awesome. Laura, Jessica, Kathleen, Lindsay, Jatina, I always call her that, she loves it. Um, Genevieve, Lisa, Mandy, Allie, I'm sure I missed somebody, but we got a good crew on here tonight. Um, man, lots of great coaches. So thanks for letting me jump on with you guys. Like Jatana says, I have the privilege of working with her um, and other leaders in the network, and it's it's a it really is a privilege of mine just to – be able to speak with and learn from you guys as coaches and entrepreneurs. So I don't, I don't take coming on a team call lightly. Um, I just really appreciate the chance to be able to share some knowledge that I've learned from you and other coaches. And hopefully it's beneficial for you guys as you're helping people in your challenge groups, as you're building the business, whatever your goals are, um, hopefully you get something out of it tonight. And you might be thinking like, this guy looks like a goober. He's wearing a backwards hat. I don't know what's going on there. Um, the reason I was a few minutes late, my I have three little little ones under the age of five. Um, and we just moved into a, I told Jatana this last week. We just moved in, sold our home that had a little more space in a yard, but we downsized and moved into a town home with no yard, and it's like twelve hundred square feet of space, which is great. It's a great place, but being quarantined now for however long, <laughs> we're like we're going to go deliver a birthday treat to, uh, you know, Aunt, Aunt Angie tonight. So we got behind a little bit. So thank you for being patient with me, but I did jump on in time to see all the announcements, all the recognition. Um, I'll just add my two cents. Great job to all of you. Um, lots of great numbers, KPIs, success club numbers, new ranks, which is, which is awesome, which is great because that just shows the level of success momentum that you guys are creating within the team. But most, most importantly, and I'll echo this throughout, my message tonight is you guys are seeing this type of momentum because I think the kids are home. Um, you're seeing this type of momentum <laughs> because you're helping people get results. Okay. Helping people get results in their challenge groups within their teams and with their different programs. So that's pretty, pretty impressive. Um, so as I was talking to Jatana, there's a lot of, a lot of things that we could talk about. Right. And I, I'm actually going to try to be pretty quick tonight. And one of the reasons for that is, one, because my kids are probably going to want dinner soon and I'm going to go wrangle one of them while the missus wrangles the other two. That's how we operate. We're a team. But two, I know how precious your time is right now. Okay. And I'm a firm believer that one of the best ways that we can kind of navigate, 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 that's not even a word. It is now navigate, um, navigate these times and our businesses 
is by being proactive, right? Instead of reactive. And I want to make sure that we have time to go out there and, and work and do and execute and, you know, take advantage of those good things we have going. Um, here's what I'm going to do tonight. I'm just, I'm going to share really kind of three topics. Sorry, my, my hand disappeared. Three, three, there it is. Um, three topics with you all tonight. And I hope it helps in some way. I hope it resonates in some fashion, right? Um, but I think it's important as coaches, as entrepreneurs to, to remember this. And it's ways that we can be proactive and take action. Um, Cause right now, with how the world is and we all know what's going on. So I'm not going to hit on what's going on in the world. Um, it's, it's different, right? It's a different time. It's something we haven't really experienced before. And I think kind of most of human races reaction is to be reactionary. Um, myself included, right? I find myself just being reactive all the time. Like, all right, we're going to hunker down. We're going to get through this. Let's, let's be reactionary. I want to challenge us. And I say us because myself included to be proactive. Okay, to take action. Because in my opinion, one of the best ways for us to get through uncertain times, to get through maybe some doubt or fear or challenges we might be facing, or if we're feeling overwhelmed, if it's with our workouts, our working at home, our whatever, our businesses, family, whatever it is we're trying to juggle, the best way that we can get through this personal opinion, Jeffology here, take it for what it's worth, is to be proactive, right? Is to be intentional. So that's what I want to share tonight. And I I share that because I was just thinking, man, what, how can I compare this to something like what, what can I share a personal story? And I just think something that I normally enjoy doing, not necessarily right now, um, is rock climbing. Okay. And I'm not going to talk about rock climbing for 10 minutes or anything, but for those that have been rock climbing or know what it's about, it's a, it's a sport, it's an activity where you have to be proactive. You have to be on the offense instead of defense. Cause if not, you're going to fall off of the wall or the mountain. Like if you are constantly overthinking your move or, you know, being scared of that next jump or whatever it is. I had this cool picture of this, this uh, girl I actually know. She used to rock climb with me and my brother. And it's an epic picture. But I can't get to pull up for some reason, but um, she's a, she's a baller. She's a killer when she, she climbs because she's just so focused on taking that next step of activity, that next action point. Whereas when I climb, I'm very reactionary because I'm like, uh, I don't want to fall and whack my head on the side of this mountain. Right. And so I have this whole picture to share with you, but I think of that, like we've got to be proactive guys. We've got to be just taking initiative, whatever that looks like. So before I share these points with you tonight, I want everybody, if you've got a piece of paper or if you write, I don't know if you write on your tablet or whatever, think of a personal goal that you want to set for this week. You're like, Oh my gosh, really? This guy's coming out to get, make a set goals. I'm not making you do anything. You don't have to do this, but if anything, this is beneficial for me because I suck at challenging myself to be proactive. So I'm counting on my, you know, 22 best friends around the country right now to hold me accountable. Um, think of a personal goal that you want to set for yourself this week. Okay. And if you've got a piece of paper, okay, write it down. Okay. And if you don't know what it is yet, be thinking on the call, what my personal goal is this week. And I'm not just talking beach body coaching guys. If that's the goal you want to set something in relation to that, great. But a personal goal, if it's with your business, if it's with your own mindset, if it's with your family, if it's a, I don't know, nutrition goal, or if it's a financial goal, or if it's a, I want to go to bed and get more sleep. <laughs> I don't know. But think of a goal that this week you want to set and achieve. Okay. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that here in a minute. Remember goals. This is Jeffology again. Goals are meant to be challenging. Okay. Jatan's like, Oh man, you told me this last week. Well, it's, because I firmly believe it. Goals are meant to be hard. Goals are meant to be uncomfortable. If they're not, they're just expectations, right? They're standards. Like that's stuff that we can do. Think of something that makes you a little uncomfortable. Think of something that, man, I, I always, I always set this maybe, and I always get to like 70% of that goal. You know, I may miss a day of it, but then I end up missing two or three or four because I get so down on myself, right? Whatever it is, think of that goal. You're like, all right, dude, we got our goals. Okay. If you do great, write them down. If you don't have it yet and write it down big. Okay. I've got mine here. I'm going to explain what it is here in a second. It's all cute and pink. You can't see because I have a wacky background right, right now. So I'm going to get rid of it and go and show you my awesome little alcove office thing. Okay. So mine's big. Okay. Make yours big. We're going to talk about those here in a second. Now, why do I have you get a personal goal down? We're going to talk about that. Here are a few things guys, as I work with coaches, 
Okay. Um, and Jitana actually put her goal in the chat. I like that. If you want to put it in the chat, go for it. Um, that's great. And there's a lot of goals. Way to show us up, Jitana. Um, here's a couple of things that I think can help us be proactive instead of reactionary in this time. Because guys, it's 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 easy to, it's natural to, it's it's not necessarily a bad thing, right? Number one priority is always taking care of ourselves, our family, like our, our, our personal life. Like that should always be the case. Like beach body business should be priority number five. Some of the leaders on here are like, no, no, it should be number one. We're trying to get everybody to go and move. No, take care of yourself, take care of your family and your personal life. Because when that's in order, like all these priority two, three, fours, and fives, man, you can go and nail these out of the park, right? And I'm not saying we got to be perfect with our personal life. Trust me. Look at, look, I am far from perfect. I look like a, hold on. All right. That's a little better. Um, we don't have to be perfect. We've got to be proactive. Okay. Now, a couple things that we can do to do that is to take action. If you get anything out of this call, besides that, man, this guy's really random, shares a lot of stuff. That's one takeaway. It is this take action. If you're like, man, I was on this call last night and it was really great because I had the reminder to take action. Take action, take action, take action. You're like, okay, why? Well, here's some ways that we can do that. Okay. I think one of the best ways that we as coaches, we as health and fitness professionals, which you all are, even though we, if we don't feel like that most of the time, if we don't feel like we're qualified to talk about before and afters or nutrition or workouts or building a business, trust me, this is coming from the corporate dude. You are. Okay. I'm looking right at you, Jessica Morris, Michelle Winder, Lindsay Duran, all of you guys. Like you guys have more credibility to share this opportunity, to share the benefits of working out, improving nutrition, and being a part of a social network and accountability group. You guys have more credentials than most of the planet, okay? Do you have to be perfect? No. Do you have to be taking action? Yeah, okay? Because if anybody's going to entrust us with something as sacred as their own personal well-being and health and their financial outlook, you better sure as heck believe they're gonna entrust that to someone that they can trust, that they know, and that is consistent, right? I mean, I would. You're like, well, you're a dude. You would entrust your whatever to anybody. Well, that's true. But I hope you guys realize just the, the power that you have to influence others to positive change or to, to improve their lifestyle. Even if they have a great lifestyle, great. You guys can help improve that even more. And right now, and I'm very, very sensitive to what's going on in the world, guys. Like, it's, it's, it's tough. It really is. I will also say this, I don't think there's ever been a better time than right now to be in the position that you are in. And I'm not, this isn't an MLM like, hey, get in rich, get in now, get rich quick. It's not that. But guys, think of the three platforms that we offer. Fitness, wellness. People can't go to the gym. They, I mean, the country of France just said you can no longer exercise outside for the for the whatever, for the, for the next few weeks, whatever they've said, like people are looking for a way to get active, to stay fit, to burn some calories, to sweat a little bit, get those endorphins flowing. We have the best solution on the planet for at-home fitness. What is going on with my headphones? It looks like more earrings. Um, so that's one reason why right now we got to take action, right? But think of the other one, nutrition, right? Like, man, people, we need it more than ever. People are looking for a way to, you know, take care of their family in a healthy way to provide some food <laughs> and options. You know what I mean? And you look at the third platform, which is this business opportunity. Like, I mean, you guys have heard, there's so many people that are out of a job or that need, need something or a side income or whatever it is. And, you know, I, I, I just hope that we don't ever feel like we're being predatory or taking advantage of a vulnerable situation because guys, our message, ours, yours, mine, Carl's beach body, however you want to, term it our message hasn't changed over the past however many years we've been doing this if you've been a coach for two years your message shouldn't have really changed during this the environment has but your message of providing support and accountability and a, a source of fitness and nutrition like that hasn't changed and people may be able to call into question your your products or programs like they they can like i can get a different protein source i can go to costco and get like a giant tub of whatever for my shake. Absolutely. You can, I, you can find YouTube workouts. You can find different sources to fill those needs, but there's one thing 
so people can call that into question, but there's one thing they can't call into question, guys, and that's your heart and that's your intention, your reason why you're taking action. I can't go to Brittany Deloach. Sorry if I just slaughtered your last name, Brittany. She's like, oh, yeah, you got it. Thanks, Britt. Um, I can't go to Elena or Laura or anybody and say, nah, Brittany, I don't think you actually care about me. I don't think your intention is there. Your heart's not in the right place. Can I say that? Sure, but do I have any ground that that, can that stand on anything? No. Like we've got to be so anchored in our passion, our purpose, and our heart right now, guys, that people may call it into question, but guess what? Those individuals that know you, that trust you, that see you being consistent, they're, they're not going to do that. And they're going to be the ones that are going to benefit from you showing up when they need it most, which is right now. And I think the social network and the community that you can provide in this team, which is one of the best in the company, like, and I mean that, and it's, you can look at all the ranks and the multiple time elite and blah, 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 which are great things that you've all done. Trust me. This environment that you can expose people to is so beneficial to them right now that there really has never been a better time to be a coach, to be a part of team Beachbody, to be, you know, an influencer of change. And guess what? Tomorrow I'm going to say the exact same thing. There's never been a better time than today to be a part of this. And the next day and the next day, there's so many good things coming, guys. So, again, I hope you can feel the, just the, the belief that we have at corporate, the belief that's in the field. Guys, we are adding so many people to Beachbody on demand right now, which is great. But how do we get them to stick around to where they are seeing those long-term results, right, and those benefits that many of you have seen? Um, you know, I said I wasn't going to take too much time. Normally, I'd go around and say, does anybody want to share their personal success story? What this opportunity has mean to you? But I, I, I know you guys know that from each other, right? So I won't get into that. But just think of what this opportunity has done for you and how it can do the same for others. You're like, quit drumming on your computer. Well, I get really excited about this. Okay. So with that said, guys, take action. You know, you said that. I know repetition is the mother of all teaching tools, but take action now. Okay, if you haven't thought of your goal yet, keep thinking, so we're gonna visit them in a second. Here's two things I think that can help us, and everything I'm telling you tonight, I'm telling myself, because I suck at these two things, which is taking action and being accountable. I'm like, oh no, accountability. I hate being accountable to myself and others. Well, it's, that's good, because it forces you to do things that are uncomfortable and help you achieve goals. So accountability, what are some things that I think we can do right now? And when I say we, I think it's you as well, looking at your, your teams, your challengers, your publics. What I mean by that, people in your social networks, your neighbors, your friends you talk to. I don't know all those names on your phone right now that you have their phone numbers you haven't talked to in months, like whoever it is. We've got to find a way to hold ourselves accountable to a goal and find a way to hold these other people accountable to a goal. Okay, here's some ideas. When I work with coaches or leaders, I get asked all the time, Jeff, how do I get my new coaches started, right? Jeff, how do I get myself kind of out of this funk? How do I, how do I keep building on the momentum I already got? Like, I'm, I'm cruising right now. And in the past, I would say, okay, well, let's look at your social media. Let's, let's look at your business plan and get into the nuts and bolts of your business, right? But after doing this myself, and I'll admit, I've only done it one time and I should do it more, which is why I have a goal with you guys tonight I'm going to share in a minute. The best way I think that you can get unstuck, you can build on momentum you got or get others to start acting, taking action with this business plan or this opportunity or your challenge group you got is to start and complete a program, a fitness program, the absolute best way. I would say that over go build, go buy a bunch of social media followers, go take all the personal development trainings you can take, whatever is out there. My opinion, the best way to start building momentum, to build on the momentum you've got, and to get other people to take action is to start and complete a program. Now, if you suck at keeping commitments like I do, trust me, I do, um, do the three-day refresh. Do Sean Wake. Do, do something that's short. Okay? If you, if you believe that you can do a, a three-week program or – Morning, I almost said Minute Made 100. Man, I really do work for corporate. Morning Meltdown 100. Minute Made's delicious, though. Morning Meltdown 100, 8 a.m. session, whatever it is, find a program and start it and complete it. And I know that takes a lot of commitment. I know it takes some planning. But, guys, the belief and the mindset and just the, man, just the excitement that you will infuse into your own life and your own business, but what it will do for your teams as well, 
is the best business, whatever investment you can make. I didn't rehearse that line, but that was pretty good. But it really is the best business investment you can make because when people see you doing what you're asking them to do, they trust you, they love you, they know you're consistent. That's gonna get them to duplicate it with you. So start and complete a program. And I say that, I've only done it once in my six and a half years at Beachbody. It was Shift Shop and I did it three different rounds because I had this next point that I'm gonna bring up that'll help you be accountable because I had a success partner to push me. My smoking hot wife, okay? My SHW, she's right downstairs and she probably heard me say that and say, don't say that, that's so corny, don't do that. Well, guess what she is, okay? Jatan has seen her, she, she's pretty hot, right? I mean, anyways, different story. But I had never completed a program, guys. I'll always do like, I'll do five days and then I'll miss a day. And I'm like, well, I got to start over because I got to do 21 days consistently, right? Or I, oh man, I got to start from ground zero or whatever, right? I slam a carton of ice cream and I feel horrible because I sucked at this, right? You're going to fall short sometimes. Keep going with those goals, but have a partner that will push you. They'll hold you accountable. That will be like, nah, don't eat that entire thing of ice cream. Let me eat half and then we'll both enjoy it, right? Um, but if you're going to go start and complete a program, guys, there's one right now. I'm sure some of you have already started 10 rounds and it is a powerhouse of a program. Okay. But if it's not that find a program to start, but find someone to do it with you. And here's an idea. Find someone to do it with you that maybe isn't a coach. Okay. That's in your publics. It's in your challenge groups. Maybe it's a friend from college or high school that you haven't talked to in a while. And, you know, you started to reach out to him a little bit and go to him and say, Hey, Ashley, I know we, we've just been talking a little bit. What I do as a coach is I help people get results and I need to hold myself accountable. Give me 30 days to be my accountability partner and hold me accountable to this. And let's get some results together. I, ne I need you, Ashley. If there's an Ashley on here, I, we, we need you, Ashley. But you see, you see what you can do there, guys. Get someone to commit with you because what they'll experience with you will be something just – it sounds really Disney, but it'll be magical. It really will for them and for you, but find someone that may not be that traditional accountability partner, but that you know will show up and hold you accountable, but that you can hold accountable as well. Maybe it's someone in your existing groups. Maybe it is, if you're like, Jeff, I can't find anyone, but I really want to do this. Okay. Find a, find someone else on this team. But I'm telling you guys, the best business investment you can make right now and the best business investment you can make tomorrow one of the best ways you can take action is to start and complete a program okay you're like all right well this isn't groundbreaking dude it's not but it's hopefully a good reminder okay second thing i'm going to share okay these are a little more tangible like okay dude like i'm doing a program i've shown up i've done like six of them or whatever awesome i suck at them so that was accountability for me there's something I share with a lot of coaches on ways that they can take action or get their coaches to start taking action as well. And I usually have a slide, I know, but I don't, okay? Blame it on the fact that I don't know technology. Um, but I call it the rule of threes, okay? And this is a good little gut check um, for us as leaders. And again, if you're like, well, I'm not really a leader. I dropped my rank or, you know, I used to be this and I'm not. No, you are a leader. You're a proven leader. You're a great coach. Start owning that, okay? But this is a good gut check for you. If you're not really meeting these expectations, or I should say goals, because goals are hard, right? Expectations are a standard. Then set it for yourself, okay? But look at doing it with your team as well. Who can I get to do this, these rule of threes with me? I share this with 15 Star Diamonds, guys. I shared, shared it with Jatana last week. I shared it with brand new coaches. Um, because these are some simple KPIs that you can gut check yourself against with, as you're taking action. But if you can get your team to duplicate it or even one or two of your coaches to duplicate it, that is going to flip your business on its head in a really good way. And for the long term. Okay. Here's the rule of threes. You like, just tell us what they are, dude. Okay. I will. And then we're going to show our goals. And then I'll be done yapping your ears off. Yay. Lucky you. So the rule of threes are this number one, there's obviously a three tied into all of them. As a coach, make it a goal, okay? And if you're not doing this, then great. It's going to be a goal. It's going to push you. If you're like, I'm already doing this. Well, guess what? That's a standard or an expectation. So up the numbers a little bit if you need to push yourselves a little more. First rule of three is this. Make it a goal to help two to three new coaches sign up every month. And I'm going to say three coaches, not just two. And here's why. 
help three new coaches sign up every month. Now, if you're thinking like, holy cow, three coaches a month, like I'm barely finding one a quarter or you know what I mean? Or some of you may be saying, eh, it's nothing, I got this. I'm gonna do three in a day. Well, great, set a higher goal, make it the rule of eights or whatever you gotta do. But think about that. If you can bring on three coaches a month, there's how many days in a month? If anybody can tell me in the chat or by unmuting themselves, you will get, I will send you a tank top from Beachbody headquarters. How many days are typically in a month? 30, Lauren, you're the winner. Jessica, you were shortly there after, so you, you get a tank too. Okay, that was a tie. So after the call, the both of you, I need you to Facebook message me your, this is weird to ask on a call. I need your shirt size, <laughs> your shipping address, and your phone number to where we can send this. And I'll, we'll have our, our team that is actually still in the office get that sent out. Okay, you're welcome. Um, yeah, Jessica, sometimes there's 31, thanks. Well, sometimes there's 28 too, so. Anyways, free swag for you guys. Um, there's 30 days in a month. And I, I've mentioned this before. If I was a coach, I'd be like your most solid Ruby ever. Nothing more, nothing less. Like that would be my peak. But because this would be an overwhelming business for me to do. But if I'm looking at that, okay, Jeff's asking me to do th bring on three coaches a month. There's 30 days in a month. Okay, how do I simplify that? How do I Matthew synthesize that a bit, right? That's one coach every 10 days. How can you, as an entrepreneur and as a leader, bring on one new coach every 10 days? Okay. Which may not seem like that many, but guess what? At the end of those 30 days that Lauren and Jessica so eloquently said are in a month, you're going to have three coaches in a month. Guess what? You help three people, SC2, SC4, SC6. Sometimes it's SC7. You, you know the math, right? You just earn success club. Okay. But on top of that, you just had three new coaches in a given month. Imagine if you were to take that same approach over the course of a year, because this is a business that takes a little bit, right? You guys have seen that. You continue to see it. If you could bring on one new coach every 10 days for an entire year, okay? At the end of the year, you would have 37 to 38. It's 37 and a half, but you can't recruit half a person. So I'm going to round up because you guys are awesome. 38 new coaches on your team. Ask yourself this question. If you have to write it down next to that rule of three, what would it mean to me? to bring on 38 personally sponsored coaches in a year. I'll tell you what it means on paper. It means you're probably gonna be elite, which means you're gonna be a five star, which means you're gonna have at least a few of those coaches that you bring on that aren't just ordering every month, which is great, but they are producing with you. They're becoming a leader alongside of you, and now you got this organization that's rising, right? Here's a question to ask yourself with that whole bring one coach on every 10 days. Yes, what would it mean for you? What would it mean for your business? What would it mean for your mindset? But what would it mean if you could get one of your existing coaches right now to do that on that second level down? And what if you could get that coach to just get one person? Now you're like, all right, now I see what this whole like levels and unilevel commission, all that stuff, right? The point is, what would that mean for your business? If you have someone on your second level down producing that type of volume that's bringing on 38 coaches a year. Guys, there's people in our top 20 that aren't even doing that. Like it's, it's, it's going to flip your business on its head in a really good way. Um, Laura just says it makes it so tangible. I, I hope so. It does for me. And it's like this aha moment for me. Like one every 10 days. How do I help one coach sign up every 10 days? man, I, I got to do that. But guess what? Sometimes you're not going to do it. You won't get a coach every 10 days, but you're going to have other 10 day windows where day one, I got one. Day two, I got one. Day three, well, we were a little lackadaisical, but day four, we got another one. You see what I mean? Like you'll have those moments where your effort and your work is going to pay off. That it's not one coach every 10 days. You know what I mean? You're going to start to build some momentum and it's going to build confidence in what you're doing. Okay, and it just feels good when you're seeing success, right? That's the first rule of three. How do I help one person every 10 days become a coach? Number two, then we're almost done, promise. I said I was gonna be quick and then here I am talking for 30 minutes, sorry. Strive to have an SC base of three. You're like, what is an SC base? I don't know what it is. Well, that's why it's rule of three. So when I say SC base, guys, that means have three personally sponsored coaches in success club every month. If that is a cakewalk for you now, great. Like I said, make this a rule of eights or whatever you got to do. 
If it's hard for you, good. This is a minimum goal. Okay. And I'm not going to set it for you. Like set your own goal. If you've been at zero SC zero for however many months, make it a goal to get to SC one, get some momentum, get some belief going. Right. But when you have a, an SC base or, you know, three coaches in success club guys, that's going to, your team cycle bonus is going to jump. You're going to start to see them become more of a leader. And re, I hate the recruit word, but I'm going to use it. Recruit more people, find more people to be in the challenge group, right? It just, it pays off dividends deep in your organization. Third one is this. Okay. Third rule of threes is have three SC strikers. I've never called it this, but it sounded cool and sexy. So I'm calling it an SC striker. I'm sure we'll make a SC price shirt out of it one day. But all this is guys is have three personally sponsored coaches that are striking success club a little bit that are at SC one or SC two. I saw the, the leaderboard that um, Jatana and, and I didn't see where the other Jatana, the two Jatanas were sharing. <laughs> and there's people at SC2, SC3, SC4, SC1. That's great. That's phenomenal. You got people that are doing some activities that are seeing wins that are changing lives, helping people. Just because you don't earn SC5 or official success club doesn't mean it's a failure of a month. Like, man, you changed a life. That's big time. But if you can have a consistent three people doing that, month over month, guys, there's going to be someone that'll, that'll take off. This is something's going to click and you're going to get a leader underneath you on that second or third level down that is going to run. And again, that's what helps you get to a legacy business to where this isn't just a side hustle, which is a good thing. If that's your goal, good side hustle, go get that side hustle, but it will naturally grow to be much more than that. Okay. And it'll cascade in a good way. So one of the best ways that I've seen coaches implement action and take action now and hold themselves accountable is this rule of threes. It's nothing groundbreaking. It's nothing like, Oh my gosh, my life has changed because this call with Matthewson from corporate. No, but hopefully it's a good reminder because again, if we, if we can start tonight, today, okay, tomorrow, if you're like, I'm going to bed after this, I'm tired. Okay. Start tomorrow. But if you can start now, guys, the, I'm a firm believer that the work and the effort and the, man, the grind that we are willing to put in now and being proactive over the next one, two, three months, whatever it is, that is going to dictate what happens in your business in the third quarter of this year, the fourth quarter of this year and into next year. Start now. This is a delayed response business, but proactively take action to expedite that process. Okay. So last thing I want to do, and if there's questions about anything I yapped about or anything in general about corporate, if you're like, Hey, how are we doing? How's shipping looking right now? Or what's happening with the France launch. I don't care if you have questions about anything. I'm happy to ask it. I'll be as open as I can. But before that, I asked you all to write a goal, personal goal for this week. And Jatana, I don't know if there's a page, maybe I can get a list of the people that were on the call. I don't know. But a week from now, I want to just in a chat, maybe like, I want to just check in with everybody and just see how did we do myself included. Okay. This is my goal. Five for seven. Okay, I'm not perfect, but it's it's all right. I said earlier that I'm really bad at workouts. I can't be consistent. So I want to set a goal, a personal goal, because I know what it does for my belief system, just overall well-being, when I can show up at least five days a week. Okay. That's my commit. Five of seven days. I'm gonna work out over the next week. And that's a big goal for me. I'm gonna call it a win. Okay. But if you've got your paper, hold it up here. Okay, so we can see your face too. If you don't have it, that's okay. Okay, I see a couple of them. All right, let's get them up there, make them all pretty. If we can't see them, that's okay. The concept is there. All right, now I'm gonna, if you wanna take a picture, you all can. I'm gonna take a picture of all this with my crew. Okay, hold on, let's click and drag this. All right, here's our goals. If you still don't have one, great. Get one written down tonight because I'm taking a picture. I'm gonna post in this chat. These are our goals. Get your big smiles. One, two, three, picture time. Okay. Jatana, I think what we'll do, I will get, if I can get a list of people that were on this call, I'm going to start a chat thread tomorrow because after this, I'm going to go be dad and eat dinner with the family, but I'm going to start a chat thread tomorrow with this crew. Okay. And I don't want it to be like taking a ton of your time or anything, but this chat thread is just going to be us to hold each other accountable. If we have a win or we're struggling on something, let's, let's push each other with these personal goals. Um, if you're like, I don't want to be in it, just remove yourself from the group, like no forced accountability. 
here. But I think that, man, if we can just nail in this personal goal this week, it starts to build momentum. Take that proactive action now, and it will it will just build upon itself. Guys, I'm a firm believer in it because I see it all the time. I took a pick for a list. You got it. Yes, and some people are dropping them in there. Brittany says, stick to my nutrition plan, which is which is hard right now because <laughs> it is a hard thing to do, finding some of the stuff on those nutrition plans, but definitely possible. Jessica's like, yes, I need this. If anything, this is a really self-serving call tonight because I just got held accountable by 19 of my new friends for 22 hour many are on here. Um, so I needed it as well. With that said, I'm going to stop sharing again, guys, take action. We know how to do this. We know what it takes. We know what makes us uncomfortable and what's hard for us in this business. Take action doing those things. Here's a fun quote if you like quotes. Successful people are the ones willing to do uncomfortable things. Successful people are the ones willing to do uncomfortable things. Setting goals and taking action makes that happen. So let's do it together. I'm done talking. Jatana, any thoughts? If there's questions, I am an open book. Unless people need to go, I am okay with that too. Love it. Thank you so much. I mean, I took a couple notes on rule three, but your heart behind the consistency of this business is apparent in what you said. And I'm so thankful to have you as a corporate mentor. Um, you made one statement that like hit me and I never thought of it this way, but this business is a delayed response business. And I think a lot of people struggle with that. Like they, they get in it and, they, or maybe they sign up with a coach that's successful and, or maybe you signed up with me and you're like, I want what my coach has and all the work you put into it. The, did he disappear? Oh no, he's there. I was like, somebody dropped off. I was like, he gone. Um, I'm all, like, I'm out. I'm out. I'm not listening. <laughs> all the work that you put in, whether it's inviting your power hours and, and your workouts and, you know, you're trying to eat clean and you don't get that instant gratification that like microwave business immediately. And we see coaches drop off like flies. Like it's, I think that's the most catastrophic thing because it doesn't happen quickly and overnight. It's, it's hitting success club. Like you talked about hitting success club every single month that you finally start seeing this like, huge wave of momentum in your business where you're like, Oh, now I'm signing coaches, but it takes us a couple months of signing hitting success club where you start signing coaches. And I, it breaks my heart when I sign coaches and I see them fall off before they give themselves a chance to see this success in this business. Um, even coaches that I sign, I'm like, Oh my gosh, this girl's going to be amazing. And then they lose that excitement about it and then they're not consistent with it. So thank you so much, Jeff. Do you guys have any questions about, I love our little chat that we're going to do. Um, any yeah, questions me about anything guys, seriously, there's no bad I or mean, wrong questions. Mentors, these coaches that you guys follow on Instagram and he knows their businesses. He knows what they <laughs> like. They mentor me. Well, yeah, but no. He knows what's working in their businesses right now. So who, who is, if, if you were to tell these girls to go check out, cause our girls, we like to kind of look across the audience of people and see who in the, is new in the business, maybe who is really thriving right now. Who would you suggest them to take a look at? Kelly bachelor. And oh. I actually mean that Kelly's really good. Um, you guys know that already though. No, there, I mean, there's so many coaches you can follow. Guys. Here's, the, here's, here's the double-edged sword of this business. The, the beautiful part of this business and the frustrating part of this business. There are so many ways that you can build it and yeah. see success. There really is. If there was some people to follow or if you're like, man, I want to kind of glean some ideas off of, um, I'm going to share a couple that are they're established, but I'll share a couple of up-and-comers too. Okay. Yeah. One that I would follow, besides everyone on here, because you're all awesome, is uh, Sammy Glonick. If you guys know Sammy, S A M I space G L O N E K. Um, she is on track to be our youngest ever 15 star diamond. Um, one of the youngest, I should say that. But she's really good and she's really straightforward in this business. Another one that is a little more established, um, but is also a great follow and is just, just really good. 
Um, Mama one, <laughs> two, by the way, in Mississippi, her name is Jen Guthrie, if you know Jen, J-E-N, last name G-U-T-H-R-I-E. But some up and comers that are really doing pretty well right now. Um, one is, I think I shared these same names with Jatana actually, but they really are doing well. She builds this part-time, okay? And uh, she's from Pittsburgh. She has a full-time job, I think is like an administrator and something, but her name is Whitney Atkinson. Uh, Whitney, obviously, for the first name, then A T K I N S O N. I can, I'll drop these in the chat. I can drop these profiles if you want to go follow them. Um, but then there is one other one that is really, I'm trying to just narrow them down. I just feel like success leaves clues. And for me, it's nice to, especially for people who are up and coming in a new environment, you know, like I'm in like the, a, a totally different generation of coaches, but I want my coaches on my team who are maybe newer or advancing in rank quickly that they can take a look at these coaches and say, okay, what are they doing, right? What activities are they doing right now that yeah. are playing the business? And I've said this on multiple team calls before in power hours and coffee chats we've had. Um, Kelly Bachelor had tuned me into Kate Schulte. And I started watching her and I was like, oh my God, like I'm not doing any of those behaviors that she was doing nonstop in her stories. And all I did was watch her for like a week, like a hawk, right? And then I started duplicating what she was doing in my stories because what she was doing was super consistent and that's what I was lacking. And I signed eight coaches that month. So it showed me that there are people that are taking action on certain behaviors, whether it's in stories or posts, that are really successful right now. And like I said, success leaves clues. So um, I don't know. I like I like kind of like studying the behaviors of other coaches and seeing, not getting overwhelmed or feeling inadequate or comparing yourself, but just kind of getting a glimpse of an idea of what is really working for other coaches. So make sure you get a gut check on that, that you don't look at somebody else and go, Oh man, I can't do that. Don't do that. Just start taking action. Well, and yeah. And here's the thing, and it's not a comparison game at all, but, and this isn't downplaying anyone that you do follow or shadow or whatever, you can do it better. You really can. Like there, there's no doubt in my mind or no reason why Angela Black can't be our, the next top coach or, that Brittany Deloach can't be an elite coach or, you know, whatever these, these, these goals are that we're pushed for those KPIs that we measure ourselves again. I, and I firmly believe that guys, you have, you have what it takes. I know you guys know how to work hard. You'll put in the effort. And sometimes it's just a little, like Jatana was saying, kind of just, man, is there something I can learn? Is there something I can just kind of tweak or refine or up my accountability game? And if you do that over the long term, I know it kind of stinks that it's not an upfront compensation plan, but that's why our business is still here and not just still here, but thriving. Um, man, I, you can see some good things happen. So sorry, I got talking again, but I did, I did post those four coaches. Morgan Butler is another one in North Carolina. That's really good. She's a um, four star diamond uh, coach has just got a lot of great things happening. So I, I copied their profiles there. If people needed them. Love it. And a lot of our coaches, and uh, Nicole, you can unrecord the meeting just to be careful. 